Hello everyone and welcome to your SOS reading. I'm um, going to go ahead and cleanse the area. So this is going to be a reading for your highest good. If you were drawn here, then there is a message in here for you. I'm going to pull some oracle cards just to kind of get an overall view of what is going on. And then I'll pull your tarot cards. So I'm actually going to start with just one of these uh, healing crystals. Welcome in angels, ancestors, spirit, spirit guides. This is a reading for the highest good. Please bring in messages and please help me deliver the messages clear. Please bring in messages that are needed to hear at this time. to transform. Let me put these over here. So it's time to transform does remind me of like the death card where something needs to change, close out, um, but we will see. I did another L SOS reading and Malachite came out um, for that as well. So if you are drawn to more than one of these SOS readings, please check that one out as well. But let's go ahead and see what needs to transform or what is, you know, whoa. Wow. So, inflow and fellow travelers. Everything is smooth sailing. Support is all around you. Everything is smooth sailing. It's time to transform. Support is all around you. So, some of you can be making some huge moves in your life. Um, I like the in flow, like everything is smooth sailing where, you know, when things are, there might actually literally be like a move or something going on here. Let's get some more information. Uh, we, you know, fellow travelers. So, and then transforming, smooth sailing. There, some of you might be literally moving like moving maybe to a different state, you know, like not just moving down the road, like a big move, like it's going to transform your whole life. Maybe even a bigger move where you're traveling to a different country. Um, or moving to a different country because we have over water, kind of like the smooth sailing that's making me feel like um, wow um, we have the last quarter moon in Leo it says lighten up I say wow because as I was putting this um, this deck back when I pulled the Malachite card under the deck is the angel aura quartz and it says lighten up. So I am now going to take out this card because it has come up. So there might be a bit of um, tense feeling where you are feeling overwhelmed and a bit anxious. And this is letting you know that you have support, you have all the everything that you need, and things are smooth it's going to be smooth sailing. 
So you can lighten up, you can kind of breathe, take a breath. Um, let's figure out what's going on. I mean, maybe we won't figure that out until we get your tarot card. So we are going to do a spread in a moment, but I'm trying to get um, these SOS messages out through Oracle first. So then we can actually clarify with the tarot in a sense. This has been actually working really well. Ooh, deep emotions, unknown feeling, past life influences. Okay, so this could be, with whatever is transforming, this could be bringing up some deep-rooted emotions that are, you know, making you freak out a little bit. Um... These, or, uh, you know, feelings that you've never felt before. The, fifteen, we have the number fifteen that does break down to a six, and that sixes in tarot are balance. Fives are an imbalance, but six brings in the balance. So these unknown feelings could be, um, obviously things that need to come to the surface and be worked out. They might be even, it, even if it's deep emotions, it could be a good feeling. You know? Let's get some more messages here. Proceed, be seen, push through. So this is saying, yes, go ahead and proceed, push through. Everything is smooth sailing. It is time to transform. Support is all around you at this time. It is okay, you know, that you might be f feeling some uneasy feelings but lighten up and you are I think you are protected at this time this is definitely you are in flow so that means you this is kind of like you're on the right path and I might clarify that deep emotions one as far as or that might come out with the tarot Ooh, becoming grounded, embodiment, living in connection. We are nature. So this actually could be a little help for this. You know, when we're having these feelings of uneasy and we need to lighten up, um, that might be a message in itself where we need to get grounded. Um, and have this connection with the earth kind of ground our ground our emotions a little bit and that you know the, the green malachite makes me feel that as well you know if we're going through a big transformation we need to really be able to like stay grounded and clear and connected and all of that all right, let's go ahead with these. Of wands. All right, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. King of Wands usually is the Leo. 
um, and then the queen is Aries, but this can be any fire sign. Um, this can represent you or someone you're dealing with. Um, the king of wands is the entrepreneur. They are the leader. Ooh. Uh, the fool is under the deck, so going for it. Taking that leap of faith. Wow. If you are questioning should I start my own business sort of thing or you know whatever this thing that you're trying to create or start up or lead um, and you're feeling like you this is the universe telling you these signs and you don't understand why but you feel like you need to do this that's the, taking that leap of faith we've got this serious star blessings yes proceed push through everything is smooth sailing Support is all around you. It's time to transform. It's going to transform your life. Um, ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands under the deck. So... The um, wands is prominent in a sense of there is definitely action and inspiration going on. Um, there's movement, passion. Ten of Pentacles is building that legacy. So I feel like you're you're trying to decide if. And you're this is this can be where we're projecting our fears, so that can be those unknown feelings or where we need to lighten up a little bit. You could be a little nervous, um, but you're on the right track. You you know spirit is saying yes, everything is going to be smooth sailing um, to push through. Uh, so you just need to get grounded to um, so you're not projecting your fears because sometimes when the fears are coming up. We're taking that as a gut instinct or we're taking that as intuition and it's not. It's a fear. So those deep emotions that are coming up, these unknown feelings, we don't, we're having a hard time distinguishing. Is this a gut instinct saying, don't screw this up, don't do this, this is a bad investment, whatever it is. That's just your fears. You're projecting your fears. Um, you're going in. And, I, yeah, I feel like that's, you're really coming out as this person that's wanting to take action in this something that you have passion for, something that you want to create. Um, you're trying to start something. You're trying to start your own business or something to that effect. Um, so the Seven of Cups is coming out as your unknown feelings. But this is um, Spirit saying, lighten up. Don't freak out. Don't project your fears. Ground ground those because it, that's just your fears coming out. Um, geez, I don't... I guess I'll pull one more card. This is really a clear, clear message. If you have come here to... You know, if you're like, I'm not sure if I want to take that position because I have to travel to do it or I have to move, or I want to start my own business. You know, those sort of things. That's the energy that I'm getting here. It's going to transform your life completely. Um, but twice the universe is telling you to lighten up. It's giving you a clear yes. Like, when do you ever get that? Um, then you got the Ten of Pentacles. You're coming in as the leader. You're, you're mature enough to do this. You've got, you know, this King of Wands here. Ooh, and Six of Swords. That's movement, too. This is, um, th you're, everything's moving to calmer waters. Wow. What do we have under the deck? Yes! And then we have Nine of Pentacles. This is financial independence. This is going to bring you financial independence. Um, this is abundance. This is um, just 
absolutely beautiful. You've got nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, six of swords. Um, the only th thing is just to, when you're trying to determine, is this my instinct, you know, is this my intuition telling me not to do this? Or is this just my fear? You know, this is letting you know that's just, you're projecting your fears to lighten up. Everything's going to be good. Um, and to go ahead, it's smooth sailing for you. Wow. Uh, let me see. <laughs> and then we have the Wheel of Fortune under the Nine of Pentacles. Yes. The timing is right. The timing is right. Um, we have over here the Becoming Grounded. Um... As you can see, it's like she's one with nature. She's grounding herself um, and really trying to, you know, if you take a walk outside um, in the grass, like just go out in your yard barefoot. Um, deep, Breathe deeply. Take, you know, breathing is huge for just releasing the fears and things like that. So get grounded, release the fears, and trust the process. Awesome reading, you guys. Thank you so much. This is... Um, I love doing these things. I'm so thankful for, you know, the support to the channel and all of that. I just absolutely enjoy it, and I hope you do too. So if so, please make sure that you hit the bell so you know when I'm on. If you want to see your, your own sign for your full monthly reading, those are up as well. So check those out for the month of March, um, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you again.